All right, let's get back to uh, we'll talk some football this morning. The Baltimore Ravens, of course, selected a new group of players last weekend, and that group included in the fourth round a tight end out of Coastal Carolina named Isaiah Likely. Joining us now to tell us a little bit more about one of the new Baltimore Ravens, he is the head football coach at Coastal Carolina. He's been quite successful. He's Jamie Chadwell, and he's with us now here on Glenn Clark Radio. Coach, it's Glenn and Paul in Baltimore. It's great to chat with you. Thank you for taking a couple of minutes for us. Yeah, I appreciate uh, being on. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Absolutely, Coach. Uh, we got to get something corrected there. Apologies. We will get that straightened out and see if we can't. Uh, we good now? Coach, can you hear me okay? I can hear you. All right, can you hear yeah, me? Yep, we got you. Apologies about that. All right, so, so Coach, tell me, I, I know you were on the staff. Um, as recruiting was going on, how involved were you in getting Isaiah to Coastal Carolina? What are your like original memories um, of, of him as a young man? And, and when did you kind of know, like, hey, this kid might be kind of special? Well, I, I was the offensive coordinator uh, his, uh, going into his first year. So, uh, so I, I was involved with that, me. And, and uh, actually, a coach that's not with us anymore that was from the New England area uh, – sort of found him for us and and so uh i tell you what was crazy about when he came and when he came and visited here his mom actually had a stroke oh. people don't realize this when he came down here, she had a stroke and stayed here three months of his freshman year because she had to try to recover uh and so that i remember that vividly about the whole situation uh from that standpoint but i i think going into his sophomore year you know his freshman year he played uh, and and did some decent stuff, but man, his sophomore year he just took a step, and you're like, this guy's better than what I think any of us thought. Uh, and then obviously the last you know two years he's he's had an unbelievable had an unbelievable uh, career and seasons. And uh, but I, I think that sophomore year after his freshman year, his body changed, his whole mentality changed, and you could just tell that he the confidence that he had in himself really blossomed and. and he uh, he parlayed parlayed that into where he's at today. You know, there's a lot of people to talk about. He, he's listed as a tight end, but he's a little bit more than that. How would you describe not just what he did for you guys, but what he's capable of doing as an offensive weapon? Well, he's definitely more than just a tight end. You know, when you hear the word tight end, you think hey, you got the hand in ground. He's gonna you know just go over there and try to block somebody all day long. But he he is so dynamic uh, with the ball in his hands. Uh, and we, we were able to use him in so many spots. And I, and I, and I know, I, I think I'm sure why the Ravens were excited about him is a lot of the things that they do with their tight end, at least from a run game standpoint, he's been doing, which is great. But he can play so many multiple positions and be a mismatch. I, and I think once he continues to uh, to develop his strength and, and, and learn learn the system that they have and get coached by the, the coaches they have, uh, you know, I think he's got a chance to be an All Pro. I think he's got that ability. He, he's a, he's a special player, but he's also he's extremely smart. I think they'll be able to use him in so many different positions: X receiver, you know, Z receiver, slot receiver. Um, and I, I think uh, he'll be a great weapon uh, there for Lamar. So we're declaring right now that Isaiah Likely is Debo Samuel. The Ravens just found the greatest uh, playmaker in the history of football. We're comfortable with all that, right, Coach? Well, yeah, I, I'm very comfortable with that. Just don't – if it doesn't happen, just don't call me yeah, back. Right. <laughs> I understand all of that. Jamie Chadwell, the head football coach at Coastal Carolina, is with us. We're talking about Isaiah Likely. Um, uh, coach, again, when I say when did you know, is there is there a game or something that happened during his career that jumped out at you where you realized not only that you had, you know, a special player, but, but someone who was going to be able to translate and do this and make the jump to a successful NFL career? Well, you know what, I think, I'll say his junior year, now he, he had a really good year and we had a breakout yeah, year. Yeah, you guys were people, okay. Yeah, yeah. what well, people don't realize, he actually got hurt uh, in game, he had, he had turf toe er, early on, and then in one game, he basically bent the toe back so far, he, bro he broke this thing in his foot, and they told him he needed surgery. And he did not, he just said, I'm not, I'm not doing surgery, I'm going to find a way to play and help this team. And he missed one game. He missed one game, uh, and he played the rest of the season on that on that that foot there that needed surgery. And at that point, he could have said, "You know what? I think I can go to this next level. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold back. Uh, I'm I'm not gonna push it. I've got I've got a future I'm thinking about." But he made a choice at that point to say, "Hey, uh, it's important to me that we're, I'm on a winning team, and I want this team to win." And I, that's when it really clicked with me. Hey, he's not only got the ability, but he's got the mindset. Uh, that he'll do whatever it takes to win. Uh, 
uh, and then and there I knew he's gonna he's gonna be ultra really that's successful a, because <sighs> that that was adversity and he and he handled it in an unbelievable way. It's pretty incredible. Um, you know, a lot's been made, Coach, about the you know the Ravens like to put multiple tight ends on the field and. You know, they run the ball a ton. It's it's what they do, right? It's everybody else is throwing the ball. The Ravens are running the ball. It's a Greg Roman offense. And, you know, I've, I've heard a few people say, you know, this isn't – blocking is not really Isaiah's strength. What would you say back to that? Is is it something that that maybe he could still, you know, improve upon? The, the Ravens are going to be running the ball a lot. It's just not going to change. They're going to run the ball a ton. Is he ready to get in there and, and be helpful as far as being a blocker is concerned? Well, I definitely that's his that's his biggest area of improvement. I don't I don't think he's going to have to adjust tons to the passing game when he gets there. I think that's going to be natural. Uh, and here was he capable uh, of a good blocker? Yes. Can he improve it tremendously? Is that his if you want to say the the weakest area of his game? Yes, that's the weakest as far as lining me up or lining him up across from somebody and say, hey, block this guy a hundred times. Mm-hmm. Uh, the way they use their tight end where he's arcing around and coming from the backside and, and using, doing on a linebacker or a secondary guy, he he did tons of that. So I, I do think he'll transition well knowing some of those schemes already. I think the scheme piece will be good. <clears throat> At the end of the day, he's got to get stronger to be able to do what they want him to do consistently there. And I, and he knows that. Uh, you know, we, we – knowing how valuable he was for what he brought to us, all right, we put him in a position for him to help us win games, and then we had somebody else do the dirty work, basically. Uh, now he's got to do the dirty work, and, and I think he understands that and, and knows that's his biggest. If he wants to if he wants to not get to the NFL but stay in the NFL, that's going to be his biggest challenge. Uh, but I definitely think he has the mindset to do it. He was obviously quite helpful for you guys in play-action situations a year ago, and I assume there's going to be a lot of that in Baltimore next year. Yeah, they you know they do as you mentioned. Uh, you know we try to we try to follow the NFL and, and learn some different things. They they run the ball better than anybody. And where he is really good is he can get a matchup with a linebacker yeah. and safety and, and and get himself open off that play action. Uh, I, I think that's uh, I think that'll have give him an opportunity and give give the Ravens an opportunity to use him in a big way from that because he's really good at that and getting those matchups and great at body control. And that ball's in the air, he's gonna find it. He is Jamie Chadwell, Coastal Carolina football coach, chatting about Isaiah Likely, new Baltimore Raven. Coach, you know, as, as far as I talk about you guys having that huge breakout season in 2020 and, and, and becoming sort of a prominent program within college football, how important was Isaiah and, and just having someone that talented on your roster as you established? I mean, this is it's not that long ago that you guys weren't even at, you know, the FBS level, right? Like, how critical – was a player like that in making your jump and and what you guys have been able to accomplish these last couple of years? Well, it was huge, and you can you can't uh, uh, obviously overstate the impact he had on the field. Right? I mean, he he, he completely changed the way our offense was and the, 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 how dynamic it was. But also, it was easy for him, and, and this is why I think we were able to have. It could have been easy for him. He was the best player, one of our best players. And it could have been easy for him to say, hey, I'm getting my own. That's all I care about. Uh, but he wanted to leave a legacy here and and something beyond what his statistics were. Uh, and to me, that's what made him great is he was such a huge impact on that field, but he was so much bigger in the locker room and, in, and, and on the field in other ways that when you think about tight end play here for the rest of how long you're going to think about him and – not only the statistics, but the way they impacted just our, our program and all those guys that were part of that. They all came here when we stunk, you know, and they and they had a lot of other choices, but they believed in the vision we had. And then for the, for that to happen and them to be a huge part of that, that's a big time legacy. And and uh, that's the thing with me that I'm most proud of him. That's cool. That's really cool to hear. And how much do you think he's got a chip on his shoulder from falling into the fourth round? How much do you think that that's going to drive him? Is as he tries to go and prove a bunch of teams wrong in the next couple of years, I, I think that'll that'll be huge. Uh, he is uh, one thing that Isaiah has always been able to do is he's been able to find something that ticks him off and yeah. uses it for uses it for good. Uh, and I and I have no doubt that that'll be the same. I, I think the Baltimore has got uh, a great player. I think that you got a, uh, a better person, somebody that'll be involved with the community there. But he will he'll give his all for the Ravens. 
uh, and he, I, I, 100%, he'll use that that as motivation every day to prove that he was the best tight end in the draft. That's awesome. Uh, we love hearing that. All right, so so coach, how good is your life, by the way? Winning football games, living down in Myrtle Beach, like. And what more could you ask for in life? I, and, and then I'm on the radio with you guys. I don't. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah that's, that's the best day that's, of my life. Yeah, it's the yeah. highlight. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. That's the big yeah. highlight. Give of the me day. some. Uh, if I had some crab legs from Myrtle and some crab cakes from you guys, hey, I think I'd, hey, be, uh, I'd be ready. Brother, to this is a promise. When I, I know you got like things to do, I know you have got a job, and it's not easy anymore. Like I understand that. But whenever you get a chance to come up here and spend some time coming to see Isaiah, we this is a promise. You let us know when you're coming, and we will take you out. There is. We 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 will get you something, all right? Well, I, I'm I'm definitely a foodie, so I'm gonna take take you up on that. But uh, hey, Myrtle Beach is great, and and uh, you know we're as, we're only as good as our last game, so we won our last game. So life's yeah, good life's right good, now. right? Yeah, everybody loves you when that that's might the change case. September third or whatever, but right now we'll, we'll we're enjoying it. My wife's family. I got my wife's got some family down that way. I love it down there, man. It is a it's a great place to spend some time, and especially when you guys have been as successful as you've been these last couple of years. Coach Jamie Chadwell, really appreciate you taking a couple of minutes for us this morning. So we're getting ready to, uh, to you know, he, Isaiah, they're, they're out there practicing this weekend, so we're going to get the first chance to go out and get to know Isaiah. We can't wait to talk to him. Do you, I, I guess before I let you go, do you have a number one? Like when we talked to him the first time, is there a story we should bring up? Is there a fun Isaiah Likely story that you've got, something maybe embarrassing he did that we could have some fun with him with? Oh, jeez. I don't know if I can talk about it on the radio. Uh-oh. We might have to get, we might have to get off uh... – I'm try- oh, let me let me give me you put me on the spot. Okay. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of some things there. Um, oh man, let's let's talk off. Let's All talk right. I tell you off, what. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna break. have my uh, I'm gonna have Paul pick up the phone, and uh, and 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 you can uh, he'll give you his number, and if you think of something, you can send it to him. All right. Fair. Sounds All good. right. I love that. Hey, Coach. Really appreciate you taking the time for us this morning. Again, the promise stands. Whenever you're up here, let us know. We'll take care and get you some crab cakes, all right? Uh, sounds great. Appreciate you all. Thank you. Coach Jamie Chadwell from Coastal Carolina. Appreciate him taking a couple of minutes for us, introducing us to new uh, Ravens tight end Isaiah Likely. Appreciate him doing that.